boots on and our cowboy hats for the 110th Clovis Rodeo. Joining us now is Ron Dunbar, board member of the Clovis Rodeo Association. 110 years, right? It's been a long time. It has <laughs> been a long time. Yeah. It's a very uh, storied stop for all of the bull riders and, and rodeo performers out there. What what do you get most excited for about the rodeo? I think the first day when we finally got to that point and the place is packed and rocking and having a great time, we bucked the very first animal of the night and we go nothing but all, upward from that point on. I know, and then all the hard work sort of pays off. Just kind it's of, kind of relaxed a little yeah. bit that we finally get and, to. You know, and then until it's over, and then yeah. it all starts no, start, all over We just start again. playing again. So it, okay, what are the dates for the rodeo? When when does everything kick off? Well, we'll kick off on the 24th on a Wednesday night with the Extreme Bulls. That's nothing but bull ride. We'll buck 40 bulls and come back with the top 10 and buck 10 more. Okay. Great night. And then we'll have a concert after that. And you know who that is. I do. The Brian <laughs> Martin plays yes. first on Brian a Martin. Wednesday night. Right. Yeah. We'll clear the arena out. And as soon as we get ready, we'll fans of the arena. We'll get the rodeo concert started. It, the kickoff is always such a great night. I, I don't know. It just the energy is high. People are looking forward to it. And it's so fun to go down into the arena right. and, and watch the performances. And it's a great deal. So that's the kickoff. That's Wednesday. What happens on, Thursday? On Thursday, full PRC action. That's our first rodeo, pro, pro rodeo. And then we got... Um, all the events will be there. And then right after that, another great concert with Michael Ray. Yeah, there we go. And then, so that's Friday night, Saturday night. Well, that's Thursday and then Friday night. Another, Friday, another PRCA night. performance. Yes. Great, another great performance. And then a concert after that with Matt Still. Okay. And then Saturday, we start off with our parade. Downtown Clovis, Old Pulaski Streets, down 930 in the morning. And you got to come see that. It's been a long time tradition. Just like a rodeo. Yes. A great tradition of what we do. Classic tradition, the Clovis Rodeo Parade. I marched in the Clovis Rodeo Parade <laughs> when I was like, maybe, maybe that high. I think I wrote. About uh -huh. that kid too. It, yeah. it is such a classic Clovis. If you live in Clovis, you have you have to go to the go to the yeah. rodeo. What's really cool this year, uh, because it is such a popular um, event, you guys are doing a free shuttle this this year, so fans can park over by Sierra Vista Mall it, it, and exactly then take right. the shuttle. Right. How does that work? Well, they're gonna they can pick up the shuttle at um, the south kind of the southeast corner of the Sierra Vista Mall near yeah. the K one. Um, little cold guard place yeah. right behind that building and they'll take you to fourth and um, veterans way which is right near the water tower and then we'll have gar golf carts there people need a ride take you right to the ground so we've we've had trouble last few years everybody trying to get in the place at 5 5 30 and it's just yes. it's hard so we've been working on this finally we're going to try it this year and i I think it's going to work. It's going to relieve a lot of traffic. I think that's going to work because right behind K1 Speed, the uh, the go kart place over there is tons right. and tons yeah. of parking, and so this will make it easy to get in and out. And people from Clovis know that uh, Old Town Clovis gets a little packed when, yeah, exactly. when everybody goes down there. But it is it is such a storied uh, rodeo. Why is the history of the Clovis rodeo so important? I mean, I mean, it started out with a tradition of a you know a small town rodeo now it's turned into a, a very very large event with with the help of the city i mean yeah we generate close to 15 million dollars economic impact to, back to the city of clovis and we give away close to 100 dollars to nonprofit groups so it's it's what people want to be a part of yeah. and then if we do our job put on a great trip rodeo if you've never been to the rodeo you show up and say man this is fun i'm coming back next year so we need to do our job as well and we try every hard to improve to improve what we do what do the riders and performers think about the clovis rodeo because they're going all around the country you know they're they're going to places in the midwest yeah they go you know, where they they've got rodeos just as historic as ours so what do they say about the Clovis well rodeo? it's one of their top spots they just finished the winter run they're starting the spring run and Clovis is something they always check off their list yeah great stock great money cowboys cowgirls and and uh great hospitality and, and it's it's always on their list from here they'll, they'll keep running but they bring their families out here yeah. uh, to enjoy california spring it's weather california exactly and so the weather is always nice exactly how do the purses work so for people that that don't follow the rodeo circuit or who have never been to the clovis rodeo the riders and the performers they're riding for purse money right? money exactly how does that work we add a certain amount of money per event all the same and then their entry fees total up in that and it, it ends up being almost three hundred fifty thousand more more dollars yeah. that we give away um so money, money's part of it. It's yes. got to be. I mean, it's not a cheap going down that road. You know, that's reason you see these young kids and three or four guys riding a pickup truck down yeah. the road. But yeah, no, I they're, mean, not, they're not coming up in, no, uh, no. you know, luxury tour buses. Right. And the this, money is talks. I mean, and, yeah. and it is. I mean, the lifestyle is just so true to what people sing about and what you watch. Sometimes it is a grind. But these are professionals. I yeah. mean, they are doing this to make a living. Yeah. These kids love being. I mean, they're American cowboys. They're rodeo yeah. cowboys. And, and it is a 
a serious business now. I mean, back in the day, maybe 40 years ago, I mean, they weren't making their kind of money now, but this time they all compete, try to get to the national finals rodeo where there's millions of dollars to give away. And that's their, that's their goal to get the NFR and eventually get the gold buckle yeah. in the end of December. Where is NFR? It's in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, so right there, right there in downtown Las Vegas, It's right? at Thomas and Mac is yeah. where, where it is. And that's, and when you go to Vegas, that's probably their biggest weekend. Yeah. Was the national final, their 10 day run and Cowboys and everybody takes care of everybody. So it's a great deal. That's a good time too. You know, if you've never been to uh, a rodeo, go to Clovis, go to the Clovis rodeo, see who's on the circuit. And then, you know, take the quick trip over to uh, the Las Vegas, the national finals over there. It's, it's a good way to get involved. All right, we will have all the information on where you can buy tickets. You can buy tickets online. We've had the website up there online. We'll put it on our website as well. Thank you so much. Ron Thank you. Haines Thanks for being here, and uh, good luck during this this year's rodeo. I'm come sure see us, everybody. I'm come sure see us. It'll be a good time <laughs> as well. All right, coming up here in Central Valley today, it's Mutt Monday, and after the break, we're joined by a training specialist who's given us tips on how to help our pups deal with separation anxiety. Stay there.